Hello friends. Today we will look into continue keyword in Java. So sometimes we have to process some data in a loop and we want to skip some particular record. So in that case continue keyword can be used. So let's see an example of continue keyword. So here I have this string array data and I have some values like 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. And let's say I want to process all the data in this array but not process the data where the value is 2. So I am creating a method process array where I am passing this string array and then the string that I don't want to process. So this is my method implementation. So as you can see that it's a simple for loop where I am uh, loop through with all the strings and if the string is equal to not to process one then I am just saying continue. So what it will do is it will skip all the next statements in this for loop but it will not terminate the for loop. So only the records which is having value as not to process will be skipped and the others will be processed. So if you see this this could be easily done with if else conditions also but uh, if you have like uh, multiple conditions and multiple nested if else inside this for loop then that can become messy and then this keyword continue could help you to write a code that is easily readable yeah so the next thing is continue with labels so just like break with labels we can uh, create a label and then use that with continue keyword. So this is helpful when we want to uh, process uh, like a multi dimensional array or we want to process some data where we have multiple uh, nested loops and for some particular data we want to skip it. So let's see that here I have a integer array. I and it's a two dimensional array and let's say I want to process each record one by one only if all the values in record is in positive. So if you see like in this one I have this value minus two so I don't want to process this array but I want to process all the remaining arrays. So I have this method process if all positive where I am passing this as input let's see how it is implemented. So first of all I have created this label process and it is having this for loop and all my code is in here. Now I am creating a variable boolean all positive is equal to true and then this is my for loop. So since it's a two dimensional array so we need to obviously have two for loops nested ones to determine uh, all the values whether they are positive or not. So here in this for loop I am checking all the values in one array. So here is the one of the array and if it is any of the value is less than zero then I am saying continue process. So what it will do is it will skip all the statements in this uh, which comes under this label process. So basically this outer for loop but it will not terminate it. So when it will run for the first time for this value minus 2 this condition will be true and then this will execute be executed and rest of the statements will be skipped and the loop will go on for the next array. So now let's see what happens when I run this program. So as you can see that in the first method process array it is saying processing 1, 3 and 1 because for the value 2 I am just skipping it using this continue keyword. So that's why it is processing all the remaining ones. Similarly in the other one since I am continuing with this label so it is just processing all the other arrays which are having all the positive integers. So yeah uh, 
I think uh, you must have got some fair enough understanding of continue using continue keyword. For simple scenarios, continue keyword can be uh, replaced with if else conditions. But if you have multiple conditions, then continue keyword helps in uh, reading the code and understanding it easily. So that's all. That's all I had for this tutorial. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.